I'm not even kidding. My damn camera's not working. Okay, is it working now? We should have never downloaded this voice mod thing. Working? You working? Sound. Jesus Christo. Totally can't hear you. It works. Sound, sound, no sound, sound. Yes, queen. Fucking figure it out. Which one is it doing? Is it working or is it not working? Okay, it's working. Bro, I have no idea what the heck is going on with this ATEM Mini Pro. It's plugged in. It seems to be working. And then all of a sudden, it just cuts out in the middle of nowhere. I'll be talking. I'll just be hanging out. And then it... Pfft, I know you guys are all looking at me right now, just like, man. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? I, I promise I'm trying. On multiple substances, here we go. We're going to come back to that in a second. 
Hold on, I'm trying to contact my classmates here to make sure we actually get a late night show going for you guys. It seems to it seems like everything is everything is chilled out. Everything is good to go. The second I say that, you're gonna see Sonic the Watto show up and everything's gonna fall apart again, but that's fine. What are you gonna do? Okay. Holy shit. Welcome everybody to another late night Star Wars show. Apologies for the minor technical difficulties and none of my co-hosts showing up, but I promise that they will be here soon. I think it was all their fault that all this stuff went wrong. There we go. You can blame the co-host. We're going to run through and say what's up to everybody. I wanted I had to hit two stars right off the bat, so Chris Re-up became another YouTube member. Hagain. A gatekeeper's daimyo for $1.99 says, On multiple substances, here we go. I love that. <laughs> I'm getting yelled at in the in the back room right now. <laughs> we need to dance. We need to alleviate some of this, this stress that's just occurred here. Let's do a little bit of dance. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's way too loud. All right, we found someone. We found someone Hello, on the street. I am, I am so sorry. I am so we, sorry. <laughs> we found Rissman. Thank God. You just missed some of the most epic uh, Tom fuckery that's occurred at the beginning of one of our late nights. Maybe Tom, ever. Tom fuckery? Who is Tom? And why is Tom he fuckery? Uh, Tom, Tom fuckery. Foolery. Tom Foolery. No, it's Tom, I thought it was Tom Fucker. We can't. We grew up on different sides of the country. I don't know. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. But I something about my ATEM switcher right now is like pulling me out and then putting me back in and then pulling me out and then shutting off my microphone. It was not good. That was not a pretty start to the stream. But oh, don't well, worry. So, so we did it. We did it. Well, oh, we're gone again. We did wow. It. Wow. There we go. Here we go. What, let's just. Yeah. Happened? Let's. What happened? I don't. Oh. Oh. And there it yep, It's gone again. Oh. Well, hello to everyone in the chat. So sorry. So sorry about this. I don't want to replace this thing. They're expensive. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Somebody needs to, dude. Somebody this needs is to. this is going to be I, a really I interesting in a, show. So I have to tell everyone here in the chat, much love. Good to see you. I fell in a ditch. I got sprinkled on <laughs> that my shit didn't work. And now here I am. I'm here for you all. I'm so sorry to be late. I'm so sorry. Let's explain the sprinkled on portion, maybe, so people don't get the wrong idea there. What, what happened no, there? No, no. I mean, the, the, so... And why did you fall in a ditch? Yeah, indeed. Why did I fall in a ditch? There, that's a whole different story. But after I got out of the ditch and I was walking, you know, there's I have this, you know, this sidewalk to my place. And then it's that time of year and all of a sudden the sprinklers came on. And I'm like... Oh my God, no, no. And I was like, Psh! sprinkling on me. I was like, why are you doing this? I don't like to be sprinkled on. It's it's going to be my choice. My body, your my body, choice. Your, your body, your choice. Yeah, I hate that yeah. shit. Only to be sprinkled on. But but again, it's like, Psh! 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 I was like, oh my fucking God, just get me home. And then nothing that worked here. I couldn't hear nothing. I had to reboot it. Yada, yada, yada. I know. Well, hell was, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a it was a hell of a start. Um, I saw Nikki pop in here for a second, and then she disappeared again. I'm I'm sure she's figuring something out as well. Fel Felicity says, "Get up, get drunk on stream, not before." Well, why not both? You... Why not both? You can this is both. it's it's Friday. This is late night. Uh, I want to give a big warm welcome to. Uh... Oh wait, this is my. We're gonna use it anyways. And his name is John C. <laughs> I hate that. Shit. I didn't even know you were live yet. I told you I was gonna be late. Oh. I know. I said I was going live at seven thirty. Now we can't hear him. Now we can't hear him. That's good. Ted's Nerd World says I like golden sprinklers. It, oh, I don't know why he's telling all my stories out of turn. Is it's it? Kind of... Is it working now? What? Nikki, the... say something. My mic shot on me when I joined you guys. No, you sound better. He sounds. He sounds really, really quiet. Uh, now you're better. Now you got it. Now you got it. You're good. You got it. Dude, oh my god, this is so stressful. I don't know this what the so fuck stressful. is going on. Like, I, I was the one thing was wrong. wrong. Got sprinkled on. You'll be okay. Wasn't even golden. 
<sighs> I don't think you wanted it to be golden. <laughs> Shit. So what were we talking about? We Nothing. haven't talked about anything yet. Oh, I haven't okay. said I haven't said a thing worth of consequence. It, the show's been going on for 12 minutes. I can't get my mic to work. I can't get my camera to stay on. Just please, Nikki, Nikki, go back and watch the first five minutes of the stream. It's pure fucking chaos. I'm scared to watch. <laughs> and that's probably the best the stream is gonna be. So we're good. All right. Well, why don't no. we why don't we get this thing kicked off here? We've got some super chats. Lord have mercy. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> Ugh, rolling new for faux 99 what's up Rollo says for the tomfoolery much love you guys thank you for being supportive in this time of absolute shite youtubing i really appreciate it because i need the support king's advisors the homie for 10 says hey everyone here's some money what should we play with how about <laughs> my body how about my body If you never played that clip again, how happy. much money do I have to donate for you never to play that clip again? One billion dollars. Oh my god. All right. I'm not so do what that. were we talking about? Also, we, we haven't talked about, about anything. That's what I'm saying. We got we have to get the stream going, but we haven't gotten it there yet. We were going through some super chats. Me and Matt always drink at the same fucking time, bro. It never fails. Dude. You and your basic bitch mason jars, man. You just love that. Oh, ah! that yeah. Hobby Very lobby, good. motherfucker. I mean, sorry. Ah! I shouldn't be cursing that ba-ding, word. Ba-ding, 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 this ba-ding. is going to be awful. This is the last late night, probably. Probably. Why? All right. We should Why probably talk about some Star yet? Wars at some point. All right. Sundowners Club is here for four ninety nine. said, did Nikki get her Thrawn merch from Nick at ICCC Nashville? Nick said there oh, there's, wasn't anything. There's more Thrawn merch? Really? Whoa, whoa. Are the boys trying to buy you stuff right now? No, no, no. This was on the EBN stream when I was on with Matt. Better be. When, yeah, when Nick popped on. I was like, you can pay me with Thrawn merch, but then he said there wasn't any. Oh, shit. That sucks. <laughs> I, I remember when Zahn only had two copies left. One was Heir to the Empire, and then the other one was Thrawn. And she's like, oh, my God, I want one sign. I'm like, you're getting Thrawn, fucker. Right there, bro. The right there. <laughs> Gatekeepers on Substances says, play long neck for Nikki. Oh, my God. <sighs> Shit, I don't even know. Like... Motherfucker. I hate him so much. All right, we, we got to talk about All right, hold on. Hold on. Wait, somebody get, get Yeah, me. no, I know. I'm pulling it up. At some point, we're going to do a Star Wars stream here. Imperial Buckethead gifted five X-Wing memberships. And you know what that means? With the membership, we got to do the dirty video. said clip. I forget. I'm on the fucking internet. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Don't don't, don't worry. Else, we're just gonna catch up later. I I oh I have to this stuff. Don't worry for that. Sometime a week, we're actually gonna do a member stream. We're gonna give things away. That's We've Sunday. Been doing That's it now Sunday. For the last six months. For the last six months, it's been promised. So at some point, it's Sunday. You fuck. I just haven't scheduled it yet. Yeah, a it's week. Sunday. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Okay. So, can we do a Star Wars stream now? We've had it going. Maybe. Nikki, Nikki can it. you control this fucking thing over here, please? <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk. It. No, you know, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Talk about his favorite director of all time for Star Wars. Ooh, Tony Gil. The, we have the Tony Gilroy simp. Yep. Over here in the top I mean, right. That, this, is, this is overblown. You're going to grift it? You're going to grift it out? Or are you going to actually do it? No, we right. talked about it. And it's definitely, we agree with what he said. Most, Play the video. So, so the, the, the crazy part is like you know you're in a group chat and you're talking about tony gilroy and the second the word comes he's like if you say a bad thing wait a minute wait a minute why am i cut off on the bottom oh, God. i'm, I'm, I'm already i'm already on the bottom is that okay yeah. 
right, top right, it off. You want to show you your you want to show your stuff? All right, no, fine. I do we'll not. Get rid First of that of bottom all, bar. No, 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 no. Right. Why can't I put diversity higher on the bottom? Is what I mean. You can't. Oh no, because he doesn't. He doesn't. He's not paying for that shit. Oh okay. So, you have to pay. Wait, is there is there a way to do that? Here? He's not paying. Uh, it's oh, only on the premium. It's only on the premium version. I had to change mine. They lost pretty bad. Well, put your glasses back on then, son. They lost pretty wow. bad. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> figured it out. I enabled the uh, I enabled the feature there. Oh, did the Heat win tonight, Nikki? Did they win? It's Sunday they played, but they freaking it's lost. It's a Star Wars stream. Oh, we were no. so close to getting on track. Okay, here. okay, okay, okay. Don't Tony Gilroy. Gilroy. <laughs> Let's you, go. If you shit on him, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. We're not. Out, we're I'm not. We're not. Play the is video. That, play is that the, the video. diversity of thought, Rispin? We're not going to play the video. video. We're going to talk about the article. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's late night. Who gives a fuck? Shit, crap. Play the fucking video. Everybody, what the fuck are you doing? Everybody who's saying nuggets is getting banned with your chicken nuggets ass, stupid ass team. What is the nuggets? I can go for some chicken nuggies right now. The Let's Denver go. Nuggets. That's who the Heat are playing. Of course, Steve oh, would root for them. Show. I don't care about that. We're, we here to, we're here to talk about <laughs> All right. the Star Wars. Back on track. Okay, so Tony Gilroy was recently interviewed. You know, we He's... can put. I actually, I forgot. I pulled it up. Yeah. Play the fucking video. Tony Ask Gilroy was interviewed about Star Wars. Um, typical journalist drama. He tries to like bait him with a fan question and all this crap. Dude. I think he answered it with tact. People expect everyone to just shit on KK, but you work there. He's not going to freaking like. Oh, bat he's so them. great. He's so great. He's Let's... pompous, but I, I. By the way, by the way, fuck you, Darth Weaven. Good to see you. Let's play this video. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome didn't to late you, night, everyone. Didn't you start at like at 1420 or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh on mobile it doesn't give you a timestamp. So this is my first time. I watched a <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> gone again. <laughs> Bro. What happened? It's this fucking switcher. La 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 la. Anyways, la, so so la, I got la, to watch la, la, la. I got to watch a little bit of this, but essentially, I love. Uh, you. I love. We even knows I love him. Shut up! Just type it in chat, man. Type it in chat. Oh, good <laughs> fucking god! Can you play so, the Tony fucking Gil chip, or can you? Is your is your mouth? He's, he's giving an introduction. So Tony right. Gilroy is being interviewed by this uh, dickless twad in the in the plaid. It is ridiculous how much he tries to bait him. Okay, we good now? All right, yeah, good. play, All right. play. Take them into a direction. Nope, the go back. It go was back shocking to on road because I didn't really have it. You start playing a little better and you start wow, playing a little bit more ambitiously. And my writing has, uh, I really had the opportunity to write for these people. And um, it's just, man, it's they just make you look so good. It's amazing. The Star Wars universe, those fans out there, the internet, anytime you get into something like this, you're, you're fighting against that even before you've written a oh, word. Yeah. Fuck you, bro. Like, that's the shitty pre-attitude that gets us in trouble in the first place. Oh you know, God. and the pressure on you as a writer. I'm just curious, do you care? Does it bother you or does it energize you um, to do right by them as well? Or oh, my they God, expect, or no take them fucking into a way. Direction they didn't expect. <laughs> it was shocking on Rogue because I didn't really have any exposure. When, when Rogue happened and all, everything that happened, I was, I was really blown back by it what was going on and, and this thing that I hadn't paid attention to. Um, so I had a, I had a, I had a, I knew about it when I right. came back, I knew what to expect. Um, you have to realize about that community that they, uh, see it. their passion and is, is, is they love this thing so much. The hardcore right. deepest, right. You have within that community of Shiites and Sunnis and Kurds, and you have all kinds of people who have different, but their love of the sh of the show and their. Can I just say really quick? He's totally dead on. Like the Sunnis, the Shiites, and the Kurds. You have the prequels, the originals, and the sequels. <laughs> like we all fucking. I mean, anyone hate who it. says he doesn't understand the he's an artist. Or what he's doing, he fucking understands it. He's the only one that's been like, bro, you got to be careful with these guys. Seriously, you got to treat them right. Because if you don't, they will chew you up and he's not a, he's not a, out. by the, by the way, it means them by the way, that you really have to I'm sure, wait, pause it for just a second. By the way, I'm, I'm sure I'll get canceled many times tonight, but he is not pussing it out like Filoni and Favre. He's like, he's like, you know what? Fuck y'all. Here I am. Here's what I did. Here's what I've seen. 
Let's go. Did you guys like date in college? I feel like you really like this guy. Dude, this is Tony fucking Gilroy. <laughs> you said it like John Cena. It's Tony, Tony fucking Gilroy. Ah! <laughs> yeah. All right, can we finish this? Pay attention to. So my attitude has been, and the attitude of the show is, as much as we, as far out there as we get, and as much as we bend the tone and the idea of what to do, we could never, ever be cynical about it. We have to take it more seriously than anybody's ever taken it. We're never winking. We're never kidding it. Um, and so we have this mix of people who know nothing about Star Wars on our show. And then we have, we have, a, we have a bunch of people on the show that are huge nerds. And it's the marriage of, of knowledge and history mixed with a real ambition to take it someplace else with a hopefully respect for, you know, I want the respect for that audience. Now, I, re I do. All right. Let's let's talk about that shit for a minute because this is the only motherfucker I've heard talk about Star Wars that seems to have any semblance of an idea of what the fuck is going on and what we should be doing. Put me on the bottom. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Power oh, bottom you? it is. There you go. All right, you got it. There you pillow go. Queen, pillow queen. <laughs> you could tell with the show though that you could tell with the show. Connie Patrick Star. You could tell with his show, though, that it is a mix of people that aren't nerds and that are nerds because there's like a balance there, right? With like the Star Wars lore. I wasn't a huge fan of the show mm. obvi for obvious reasons, <laughs> but I think it suffered the last Jedi effect, in my opinion, also after coming out, you, you know, coming after Kenobi and Boba Fett. Dude, it yeah, was. it was pretty rough. Even, even like uh, you've heard Jay say it, it's the greatest Star Wars that nobody ever watched. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, it definitely suffered from that. But having said that, like, dude, I have fucking problems with that show. I have severe problems with that show. Having said that, I would put it in front of a lot of the shit that we got, dude. Oh, a lot sure, of the yeah. shit that we got. Be you and know why? You know why? Be because <sighs> he, he, and we're going to see the rest of it in this interview, he was trying to make an appealing show, right? He was trying to make it so that no one's seen it people seen it the people hate this seen it you know he was trying he was trying to 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 diminish the all that baggage right that came before and he didn't want to be the mandalorian again it was definitely a very serious take which i think people weren't ready for because Again, Kenobi, Boba Fett. Everybody was thirsting for like lightsabers and shit like that because Kenobi and Boba Fett didn't give remotely anything worth of quality to you. So, yeah. Mike is in the chat. Hi, Mike. Love you. What's up, Mike? Popcorn Porter. Hail to all the folks in the chat. So many people are here that we know that follow us all around. Much love, y'all. Much love. Much love. Much love. All right. You're muted. So you're muted the, or your your mic is not working. Just play the video more and we can we can help. Because you. yeah, because the next question is about KK. So we still can't hear you. We still can't hear you. No. no. You'll be okay, dude. I know. I know. I know. Play the video. Play the video. <laughs> There's no way of doing it and not being controversial. Yeah. There's no way. It's impossible. And like yeah. Kathy's job is like. I mean, you don't want to be Kathy on and ever open the internet. It's just, I mean, oh. what she goes through and what they, and it's been on for years, you know. So uh, she's amazing. She's yeah, amazing. It's a, you yeah. got to be really, you have pretty thick skin to do that. But um, I pay attention. I don't think we've made any real adjustments because of it, but um, it's been interesting to watch. Did you have contact with George Lucas at all in talking about this? I mean, considering this is all going on before his first uh, movie in the series. I have had one conversation. George Lucas <laughs> called me after, uh, after Rogue. And I had a 45-minute conversation with him after he saw Rogue. And that's the only time I've ever spoken to him. What did he think? He loved it. He really <laughs> did. He, he, li he, he liked it. Yeah. He, he had some other things to say that I, you know, but... Um, yeah, uh, I imagine uh, really. he did. Yeah, no, I mean, no, he, but he... he, he, he uh, George Lucas, can you pause it? You can pause it, excellent. George Lucas called him. They had a conversation for 45 minutes. Really? That's awesome, dude. Isn't that cool? Isn't that X-Wing? X -wing, figure George, your stuff out. It's okay. So, Nikki, honest question. Do you think George Lucas called JJ Abrams or Ryan Johnson and had a 45 minute? Well, copy? the only sequel he saw he went to the red carpet for was Force Awakens, right? He didn't go anywhere else.
Yeah. I, I am curious though what else he told them because obviously uh Gilroy insinuated that he had some feedback. So that's what I like. <laughs> Poor X. <laughs> oh god, we still can't hear him. Can you just put your mic through your headphones? Yeah, dude, can you can you turn your mic off? Put your mic some other way. Yeah, he'll yeah. figure it out. Oh. So I'm curious for the constructive criticism he gave him because uh, George will never shy away of, you know, let's not forget the white slavers. Dude, but he, he they had a, I mean, like, everyone's like, oh, you know, you're, you're, for me, they're like, you're Tony Gilroy Simple, whatever. Motherfucker, I had a 45. He's like, hey, this, what's up? Who's this? This is George. Hey, motherfucker, what's up? You know what I mean? Well, because oh. Rogue One, for, you know, whether people loved it or not, it did invoke a lot of, Star Wars that he made in the OT. So I'm back. I don't know we for you. how long. We got you. We, we I got know. you. And we I hear know. you. I know. I know. I said I'm back. I don't know for how long, but I'm back. So what do you think about what he said? That George called them after Rogue. They talked for 45 minutes. It's wild. I honestly believe, and it's going to cut me out halfway through a really good point here, so I'll try to make it fast, but uh, yeah, this absolutely makes sense, and it shadows a lot of the shit that a lot of Star Wars fans are saying. They put together the film and they're like, out of everything that Disney is, like, Rogue One was pretty fucking good. Like, that definitely feels the closest. And so it makes sense that George would have talked to him and been like, hey, I like that. You know what I mean? So I really wish I could hear the other 45 minutes. And, and he, prob he probably said, you know what? The space battle in Rogue One beat the pants off the one that I did. <laughs> you fucking would. Uh. If you had to speculate on what he, like, critiqued them on, what would you think it'd be? On Rogue One. Oh, that's tough. I think, think it would probably be the pacing of the story early on. If it was going to be anything, Maybe. I think it'd be the pacing of the story early on. Um, but what's kind of tough is that he wasn't really like the dude the whole way, right? So, I don't know. You know, I, I feel, you know, it, it's one of those things where who knows exactly how much he had to repiece back together but yeah. if we believe what we've seen or heard actually in the media i mean tony showed back up he's like no nah, fam we got to do this all again Can we got to put it all back together and all the rest of it so i don't know what their conversation was all about but i'm like mad props to tony for for giving us the best star wars movie that we have ever gotten on Disney Star Wars and counting. Yeah, agreed. And and I would say, you know, other than some really cool specific moments in Mandalorian season two, I would say it was a stronger show than Mandalorian in a different way, in a different way, which is going to be a controversial take. Look, I've been back and forth on this thing for a long fucking time, but the point that we've gotten to right now like when everybody's like, who do you think could be the best candidate? Like, just fucking give it to Tony Gilroy at this point. Make him the fucking. I know he's a writer, but fuck it, just give it to him. I don't care. He don't want. He don't want it anymore, though. Duh. Fucking nobody does. Yeah. I'll play the rest of the video. Thanks for the input there, Nikki. That was. Yeah. I've been giving yeah. my input while your equipment freaking freaks out on we've you. Been, we've been. We've been your, We've been leading your stream as we always do. While you were crapped out. Oh, uh, <laughs> I would laugh, but it's true. They could freaking <laughs> after me. Yeah. I'm curious to see what he would do with um, Jedi's and Sith, how he would handle that. That would be really interesting. And I think that's where he would shine. He would make an actual dark Sith story. He wouldn't shy away from it, I think. Yeah, exactly. Watch now that I added this. Let's see if my switcher freaks out. Oh, no. He don't. It was... You know, it's like a call from the president or something. It's amazing. <laughs> I have to ask you about doing franchises. Obviously, Born, you were very involved with. What's the trick, you know, in, in carrying on something like that? Uh, and particularly what you did with Born was going from screenwriter and then to directing and writing one with a different actor uh, in that as well. There were all kinds of uh, little... Uh, well, look, man, I tried to give them a Marvel Universe with Born Legacy, <laughs> no. and they didn't want to take it. I mean, honestly, I, I was, all, all of that was to open it up. So, open it up, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the, the history of Born is one of the most shambolic success stories of all time. I and mean, that would have been a great Hollywood book if someone followed it from the, from the very beginning. You'd never get everybody to tell the true story, but right. it just stumbled towards success all the way through. 
at Legacy, we really tried to give them, that was my goal, was to give them a Marvel universe that they could open up. But there was so much bad blood and other stuff that it just it didn't work for them. And I think they Man, he doesn't so shy away from saying I mean, shit about studios. Trick? He's like, there was so much fucking bad blood there. Ooh, interesting. That's why I say his, his interviewing is so anti Filoni and Favreau. And again, the, the question was asked was about, you know, born in, in things of the past. But th this motherfucker is like, you know, fuck y'all. You know, I'm here. This is what I've done. You know, blah blah. blah. And yeah. I, I feel like if he's like, if he's like, if I say something that my current studio doesn't like, then you know what? Fuck them. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like, okay. <sighs> you know, I'm just you know, believe it. he doesn't. He just doesn't. He's earned not caring. Yeah, that's exactly who we need for Star Wars. Somebody who earns like not giving a shit or sucking anybody's dick when it comes he to making give a project. Two fucks. Doesn't give two fucks. I bet you. Yeah, Kathleen probably doesn't have the balls to kind of tell him like what to do. <laughs> so he just, she doesn't have the balls to intervene on his stuff. That's for sure. The trick is um, imagination, man. It's um, uh, imagination, ambition. And and uh, a real, I know it's such a cliche, but a real need to disrupt. You have to disrupt shit like crazy. You have to turn it upside down and say, well, let's, do, let's do the opposite of that. Let's, what, oh, I like what, you. Always looking for something that in every scene and in every moment, what, has, what haven't we done before? What has, what's new? So you got to be really ambitious and not safe. Uh, it's safety that's the enemy of, of, of expanding things, I think. Exactly, and we've seen that happen. Oh my God! Way too exactly. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my Wait. God! We're exactly. Gonna... Yeah, I won't, well, won't name any names, but we know who the culprits are. Yeah. yeah. Is it oh. fun action scenes because the action? Oh. <laughs> this guy doesn't give a fuck. Oh, I fuck. I really like the way he's talking. And you know what I'm gonna say too? I have a feeling. I know people are gonna make fun of me because I said Andrew was gonna be fucking amazing, and from a certain from a certain point of view, it was. But I think season two is gonna win over more people than season one did. Because season two is going to be more focused on what's leading up to the OT. Star Wars. Se which is yeah. season one was all set up with Andor. And not many, honestly, not many people gave a shit about Andor. And they still don't. So I think season two is going to be. And it's also doing the three arc thing, right, Matt? It's yeah. like skipping how much time? Well, it's, you know, it's going to be, you know, there's 12 episodes. So each one's got each threes a year. And so they're all leading up to what we seen in what we saw in um, you know Rogue One, where he's going to you know kill that that motherfucker. Yeah. But you know what? He, he's not worried about you know anything other than you know the story that's leading up to that. So yeah. We're gonna get we're gonna get some of that you know. Some of those politics and some of that other nonsense that you know that fills in, you know, Mon Mothma story and some of the rest of it. I mean, all that stuff is going to lead up to it. And I'm like, I'm like this for me also. I'm like, I cannot wait. You know, it's not going to be full of felony. It's not going to be nonsense. It's not going to be a reinterpretation of things that people understand and love from the eu this is him finishing mm -hmm. the story that they were telling in rogue one i'm like you know what give it to me i love it Ooh. when Risman gets drunk nostalgic he's like i am so fucking excited for what we're gonna get but i i, I totally agree yeah. man i mean that's the bottom line is like look ahsoka is going to be extremely telling about what kind of Star Wars we can expect from, you know, essentially that side of the, the group of Star Wars. And then Andor is going to be very telling from a different side of Star Wars. And I can't wait until 2026 when it's fucking Gilroy versus Filoni or some shit like that. When we're talking <laughs> about, you know, like Star Wars that we want to fucking hear. But I'll be honest with you, man. Like, I didn't get to watch this whole interview, but hearing Tony Gilroy talk about this where he's like these fucking retards over there they keep doing all this they're they're bowing down they're they're not telling the stories that need to be told because they're fucking scared i'm like oh girl keep saying that shit and then i wanted to pull up this one chat really quick because i think this is hilarious i liked andor but don't care for any of the other dude luthan was the fucking star of that show i don't care who you are so, most interesting character the, the best the best star for me of Andor season one was the dialogue 
whether it was Luthen, whether it was any of the rest of it, there was things that were said and was like, I was like, even Saw. Yes. When, when the whole Saw Gerrera thing, you know, he's he's talking about it and the spittle is like on his lip, right? And you're like, oh, that's gross. But it's but it's like that's how much they were into it, right? And that's why this motherfucker, this guy here, Tony Gora, not the plaid douche. But he's like, he's like, you know what? I know how to write this shit. I know how to direct it. I know how to put it on the screen. And then yeah. we get what we got in Mando 3. And I'm like, Ooh. I'm like oh, 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 it really? sends chills down the spine, brother. Really? Come on now. It really is insane. Nikki, get off your phone. Come on. Be yeah. present in the moment. I'm actually trying to promote you, so fuck you. Oh, don't do that. That's the last thing I need right now. This is such a... I have had so much fucking issues with this. That boy Steve... I'm sorry, that shill Steve says, Matt gets so much crap from X. I don't know why Matt doesn't fire him. A real man of resilience. This guy, all he does is kiss ass. Get a new job. We love you, but get a new job. Good <laughs> lord. But the sad thing... Here's a sad thing, though. Guild Wars done after this, so... Matt Cave, Ooh. Matt Cave is here. Good to What's see up, you, Matt, Matt Cave. Cave? And a good question, too. Do you think we're going to get anything from that? I mean, I would have to imagine that oh Gilroy, Gilroy didn't put a shitload of stuff in the beginning of the season just That's to Felicity. never touch it again. Felicity always reminded me of that. What about the sister? I'm like, well, eh. they, they, They've asked Gilroy about That's a story it. for another time. No, they've asked him about it. And he's like, he's like, well, you know, that story might not be done, blah, blah, blah. But, you know. Might he, not be? Why did you put? So that's the only thing that drives me kind of nuts. Well, like, but he's like, he's like, in there. but he said, he said, you know, we, we did what we needed to do with that. There's a motivation there or whatever. But we have so many other things to say. We'll see. We'll see. I was positive one of those uh, rebellion chicks was going to be his sister. I thought that Indian chick was going to be his sister. I am so I, if that had happened, right? I'd be like, nah, fam, fuck Small you. Small universe, ain't it? I am out. And he's like, he's like, you know what? That that served its purpose, right? That that served to motivate him to now where we've gotten them. Okay. That's <laughs> Okay, I love you. What's up, JT? <laughs> All team. right, let's hit some super chats real quick. We gotta, we've missed some here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Nick was wrong. I got you some Thronar, Nikki. Oh, this guy's always buying people shit. I love it. It's incredible. He did a giveaway on his channel the other day, That's and horrible. somebody won. And the the dude was in uh, like Eastern Europe. And he had to pay like three times the price of the pie, the uh, prize to get it sent out there. But he sent it. A true, a true gentleman, Sundowner. Awesome, good to have Sundowners. you here, brother. You always Sundowners is amazing. That is a good ass person. Hard to find on YouTube. Uh, Gatekeepers Daimyo for four ninety nine, just soaked in rum, <laughs> and God knows what else. Wherever you are, I need, uh, I need public acknowledgement, acknowledgement that Nikki, Matt, I are friends. No, no, I don't. I don't lie. I mean, I, I mean, two thirds of that is true. Me and friends Nikki don't lie. Friends, but I mean, oh God, bro. He, the worst bad. thing you can do is seek for public acknowledgement on a live stream. They will eviscerate you From me, every especially. fucking time. Get the especially not me. her. Yeah, Jesus, she's not nice to me in private. Not to mention in public. Oh, look at look at this spelling. This is great. Look at Keepers Daimyo for four ninety nine. Ahasoka is. <laughs> Ahasoka. <laughs> Aha, so Aha. Is Formuloni's first test. If the show bombs, the movie bombs. I, I can't disagree. Freaking, I got a trademark Formuloni, bro. For ooh, ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuloni. <laughs> I got a trademark that shit. But this, it's it's obviously true, right? I mean, this is his first uh, Yes and no. His own. Yep. In a live action, you know. I think people are desperate for a Star Wars movie that they're just going to see it in the theaters and be like, all right, fuck it. Let's check it out. We never know. That's like being that's like being absolutely starving and somebody hands you peanut butter. And you're what? Just like, look oh, at the last movie we got in Ooh, theaters. Peanut butter is good, though. What, Don't what was the last movie we got in theaters? Brisbane, what the fuck are you doing? I you're like, love, oh, I love peanut butter. No I one's answering my question. No one's answering I, my question. I don't know. Uh, Take Rise this fucking Skywalker? interview off the right, screen. All right, hold on. Let me get the interview down. 
What was the last movie? Well, the last Star Wars movie we got in theaters. Oh, dude, do we really need to go to that? I'm serious. What was it? <sighs> Rise of Skywalker. And you think people are not going to want to go to the theaters if they see a Star Wars name in there? Unless I it's think, associated with Ray. That's I think saying. some people are, yeah. I can wait, bro. Mando, here's the thing. No matter how Ahsoka does, Mando is popular enough that it will, I think it'll bring some some asses to the seats in the theaters. Dude, after Mando season three, it ain't going to do what it did after Mando season two. They should have shelved Mando season three and put a fucking movie in theaters after season two. I would have. I would have pre-bought that shit. I would have pre-bought the merch. I would have bought the popcorn buckets. I would have gotten the poster. I would be like all over that shit. All over it. And then they did Mando season three. And now I'm like, I might buy a ticket to that movie. Maybe. Or buy a ticket to another movie and just, just watch it. Right? Do that thing. And apparently you can watch newly released movies on TikTok, which I didn't know about, but I got to see most of Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse flipping through my phone this morning. Oh, yeah. Because everybody fucking posted. <laughs> yeah, I was just flipping through my phone and Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse was playing. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm going to watch the movie. I think people, I think depending how they play their cards, the Manda movie could probably make more money than the Ray movie. Oh my God, Blood Guilty. Take a jail pill. Wait, did we we finish the rest of the interview all was gone? Yeah. Well, that sucks. We no. were done with it because we wanted yeah, to talk we, about your favorite topic. Peanut butter. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's my Order turn anyways. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, my God. Did we even get to the point where he was talking about KK and the rest of it or did I miss it? I oh, it was... my God. That was the whole fucking point of this entire thing was supposed to be everybody pissed off about skipped, what he you, said about you, KK. You just, like, ended it. It's like, okay, whatever. Oh my God, man! We'll start it again when when next week comes back. Don't worry. All right, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got a boot scoop. I'll be Hurry up, because I'm going after you, bro. I'm exploding right now. Doesn't know how to run a live stream, Nikki. No. Mm. <laughs> to be <laughs> to be fair, I think a lot of they, he would be lost without us. So. Hey, sweet girl. All right, so we got some super chats. We can go through this while he's gone, and then he can play the the nonsense while, when he comes back. So do you do, um, uh, Paul Taylor? For Canadian, ten bucks. I mean, what? Two dollar American. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like seven dollars American. And, and Paul says I got an email that somebody gave me a free membership. So thanks, friend. Here's some cabbage to upgrade your equipment. X. Oh wow. Well, he needs a lot more than your fake money there. <laughs> no, that I'm just, kidding. I'm just kidding, Paul. That is really <laughs> sweet, though. He paid it forward. Yeah, thanks. very, very sweet. Very sweet. Good to see you here. Paul Taylor has been here before. Great to see you again, my friend. It's a joke, Thank Paul. You. I make fun of all Welcome Canadians. to the membership. Welcome to the membership. And look, Felicity is here. You think she's going <laughs> to say something? I can't say her name again. Felicity, you think there she's going to say something nice? Felicity yeah. says, oh gosh, I, I can't, do I have to read it? I'll yes. read it. Read it. For Felicity is here for 10 bucks. Get Matt's boo on the show. <laughs> Should be easy. Have we if you liked Andor, but it if a show doesn't get watched, it means people don't care. X-Wing, appreciate your Star Cruiser dinner show. X-Wing has to read that when he comes back. He has yeah. to read it. Yeah. So so you know what? Uh, I'm not sure people don't care. You know, it's getting a second season. I think it's more so, I said this when it came out, it's more so apathy in general about Star Wars. After Boba and after Kenobi, it's like, uh, who gives a freak? And then now season three of Mandal that it felt like a freaking fanfic from Tumblr and someone got like freaking money for it. Oh, X-Men, you got to read Felicity. Yeah, you have to read Felicity. So I read, um, I read two Super Chats while you're gone. I Whoa. Read, well, I could do these things. I read Paul Taylor's. He said, somehow someone gave me a membership. Here's 10 Canadian to help you with your equipment. Oh, you thank you, Paul but Taylor. You didn't have to do that. Yeah, no, I mean, but you, you, need it. you need it. And then Felicity had some things to say, so you can reread Felicity's. Get Matt's boo on the show. Should be easy. Happy if you liked Andor, but if a show doesn't get watched, it means people don't care. X Wing, appreciate your Star Cruiser dinner show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. 
Why do you hurt me? Like <laughs> both you, both of you salty fucking ladies. Every night, it's some kind of form of abuse or she something. She has a comeback. Thank Sorry. you guys for the donations. We're gonna dance because I need to reevaluate my ego and the way I feel inside after this shit like this. And now Nikki's leaving. What the fuck? <laughs> what a oh god what a time what a time to be alive did you so did we go over because i was uh, i don't know if that was today or if that was yesterday morning you get the youtube notifications it's like it's fuck it's video after video after video after video like you know fuck tony gilroy he attacks star wars fans he's a kk simp yada 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 and i'm like Fans Star Wars fans toxic, yeah. I'm and I'm just like, I just don't fucking buy it. I'm not buying it. He never said it. He never said it. In fact, the majority of that interview was me thinking, like, damn, this guy knows what the fuck needs to happen. Now, whether or not he actually gets the freedom to accomplish that is a different story. But for the love of God, when you hear him talk, how can you not be like, yo, this guy should be he we we should give this guy something. I understand that Andor was boring for a lot of people, but that's the bottom line. Like when people talk about Andor and they shit shit all over it, they go and bore, snore, and snore, boring, like z z z z z. That's the only thing they can say is that it was boring. And I can fucking live with that as a Star Wars fan. If the worst thing they have to say is that the show is boring, awesome. Was the did they put some woke shit in there? Yeah, hundred percent. 100%. But it wasn't overbearing enough for me to like make a video about it or point it out and be like, this is fucking stupid. But it was slow. It was really fucking slow. It was really slow. Well, and it well, was. What well, woke shit did you see? I'm curious. Just the. It's, there's a very overt lesbian couple oh, power that. struggle with a lot that's of women, true. with a lot of women power in there. There's I forgot about that. Women. That's how insignificant it was. See, and that's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't. That, it was that's not because, enough. That's because fucking... that, that's because it wasn't woke. It was just a relationship in the show, right? What for me yeah. when it's woke, it's like where I'm beating You're shoving your, that shit down I'm, your throat. <laughs> I, I I am beating you over the head. This is not a this is not a Star Wars show. This is a show about two women finding themselves in the Star Wars universe. Well, isn't he going to double down on their relationship or show explore more of it? But dude, if it makes sense, I don't fucking yeah, care. Yeah, as long as it's not all about it, I don't give a fuck either. That's really the bottom think. line. And that's a bunch of the shit that like people don't the Listen, people i'm gonna to play devil's advocate here people fall in love with aliens in star wars i'm inclined to believe that there's lesbians in star wars so. that's a there's a pretty fair chance if you can find something with nine stick holes that yeah there yeah you might right. also have two girls going at it but regardless that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize and i know for some people it's like dude if there's a lesbian couple in the show i'm not watching it like that's Whoa. just not Whoa. my Whoa. that's not my take if it makes sense to the story who gives a fuck like who one cares? of one of my favorite movies of all time is the birdcage okay robin williams and nathan lane playing a couple and it's like oh my god it's the funniest shit you Nikki, ever watch that, 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 that movie is so woke Oh, but it's, it's so, so good. Cool. It's so good. I really recommend it. Watch it with your wife. You guys will have a riot, especially if she's on a doobie. That, that movie's great. On a so doobie? Good. She's stoned 24-7. Are you kidding That's me? Right. She's, she's a functioning so stoner. Good. I don't know how she does it. I can't do that shit. But. It's a movie you guys would really enjoy watching. It's such a good movie. She's an accountant. She crunches numbers all day stoned. If I saw a spreadsheet after smoking pot, I would be in. Look at I'd everyone like, in the chat, by the way. All the birdcage fans. They oh, and Gene Hackman's in it too. That's right. That that movie. Yeah, I love Gene Hackman. I love Gene Hackman. Watch it. It's great. But the movie is so woke. So just put put your wokeness at the door. You know, you know what a really woke movie I hate, and it's all drag oriented, is Mrs. Doubtfire. That oh my me. god, that hugely nuts. woke. Hugely Horrible. woke. Yeah. I'm just saying, if, like, if it makes if it makes sense for the story, like, if you know, if it's it works in comedy to it too, like, don't make don't take yourself too seriously. It's dude, it's fine. Nobody gives a shit. There's just so many overreactists, 
freaking butt hurt people in this world. Tootsie, <laughs> as Jay said, Tootsie also. Yes, yeah, so woke. I didn't see my, that. My point is, is Tootsie, that, you've never seen Tootsie? Oh my fucking god. My point that's is, saying one. is that one that's one of my favorite movies is that the fact that like there's gay people in it, but it, because it's like not like done in a freaking preachy way, you know. I that movie, uh, I'm gonna watch it again soon. That movie's so good. I can't get enough of that movie. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of good so shit good, it. so so very good. Oh, it was a joke. Don't worry. We were being, uh, man. And this is Outfire is another classic. It I really good. need to put like a, maybe I need to have like a banner that says like, uh, sarcasm or satire or something and then just like open it up every time. I mean, if people don't know what they're getting when they show up at one of your streams at this point, especially late night, then they should not show up. You'll be all right. But there is other news we wanted to talk about. Something that is going to be of no surprise to anyone. Oh my God. Dude, more one. survivors guys of order 66. For, look, no my favorite song looking for jedi in all the wrong places looking for sorry <laughs> your cat joined in and everything <laughs> yes she, she woke up she woke up she's so cute yeah. order but, 66. So, more jedi wait, before we say who it is before we say who it is can the chat guess who survived order 66 this time oh, two more. who did disney say no one's ever really gone for Two more that have never been confirmed dead. Even though I, I didn't. Oh, I, 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 I failed you. I didn't pull them up. Who is it? Who do we? Who does the chat think it is? Who are who are two Jedi that were not presumed dead? Like they were dead. Well, one but, or two seem deadish. Yeah, exactly. is that what we're saying? Is that what we're saying? We're saying maybe they were dead. Stop it! One was more dead than the other. So who is it, guys? Okay, we'll give them. We'll help them out. We saw them die in Revenge of the. <laughs> <laughs> we saw one die. We saw the other one. You know, maybe. No, I don't give a shit. Uh, maybe. Give them, okay. give them the the dead giveaway. It was in a deleted Ronnie, scene. Ronnie got the first one. What did Ronnie say? Oh, Ayla. Ayla is correct. Ayla okay. Sakura. Who is the second one that has survived? God, thank God it's not Kiari Mundi. Oh my God, now. yeah, Kiari so, Mundi is another one. He's my just... least favorite Jedi. That ugly ass. You know, what? You think what? About it, like, How do you hate Kiari Mundi? Kiari Mundi. Do we, do we, do do we need one more like Ahsoka lookalike? Right? Do we, does it really need to be Shakti? Right? Bro, do how many people are already confused enough? You have to let them guess. You oh, ruined sorry, it. I gave it away. Yeah. Shakti, Shakti, and Hela Sakura are the two that are not dead. Not they dead. lived. Uh, Not Mac, dead. This is where this is where I was at. It was like out of all of them, like Ayla Sakura got fucking gangland massacred in that That's movie. Fuck, bro, she she is done. That done. was dude. That was Al Capone with the forty fives. Like the no what is that? Really the fun. Valentine's Day massacre. Like that's what that was. But just in case we miss something, why don't we go back? And we get this is this fucking so Ladaj wants to know where. So Ladaj, it's in a comic. Ladaj wants to know where what? Comics are canon, Ladaj. It's in a it's in a, it's in a Dr. Afra comic, by the way. Oh Dr. yeah, Afra. this is in Dr. Afra. Sold a lot. Yeah. Sold a lot. Yep, so and together for, hanging out. For reference, mm. let's review how each one died. Let's see this. Go ahead. Well, we we don't know. No, we know. we don't because know. We don't know. Because Mark is canon, damn it. No, we, we know. don't know. We don't, don't know. know. Uh, this is how they died. Look at that. And just for sake measure. Bro, she could have made it out of there. She could have made it out of there. Just okay. For, was never confirmed that she died. Guys, just for safe measure, even when she's already on the ground, they're still freaking pummeling her with blasters. Well, yeah. We. I mean, here's the thing, though. She has the force, and she, she disappears oh behind God, a leaf, so we yeah. don't know. We it's, don't not, know. it's not like she got a lightsaber in the in the stomach, by the way. Maybe and that's the know. thing. Everyone Maybe she has dog. ten stomachs, and they only shot nine of those stomachs. Yeah. Where's my playback speed? Let's just count how many times she gets gutted by fucking oh, That's true. Okay, one, two, two, three, four. No, that's she's not here. Five, six, she's just, she's seven, eight, like nine, here. ten, I'm eleven, down. 11 twelve, right thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 
Blood guilty's okay. comment. Blood guilty's comment. Malga couldn't have so anyone can come back. She got shot in the heart and all the fucking organs you can imagine. Okay. Oh, she got shot 29 times, even 50 it's cents. Like, life. damn, it's respect, it's fair not, life for it's real. It's never confirmed. It's never confirmed. Oh, what man. was never confirmed? That being that a was dead? Show. Don't be a show, man. We gotta defend. How much confirmation death. do you need? We gotta confirm death. Okay, so now Shakti, she can't stop dying. Let's see how many times she died. All right. <laughs> Well, she's died in every multiverse you can fucking imagine. They wanted her so dead that they killed her 29 times just to make sure she stayed. Dead. This, this she's, poor not dead, she's not dead. Sorry, Master Kenobi. I failed. Oh, General Kenobi, we've been waiting for you. Stinking. Yeet! There's one. Right in the freaking. No, but the, she has many throats. She has many it's, it's, throats. That's the thing. She's got two throats and three stomachs, so she survived that oh, one. You're going to bring up the fucking... And then, and then and... she made it back to the Jedi Temple, luckily recovered from her wounds, and was at the temple, and then all of a sudden... Blah! Got no, yeeted by no, Vader. Oh, no, no. Thank God. Constantly through the chest, always. Even in... That's right. In Clone Wars, Yoda saw it. Yep, Yoda foresaw her death in Vader's hand. In the many hand. episodes, it made Yoda stupid. That's right. <laughs> Same spot. Yoda, Yoda is obviously a bitch. But... Let's not forget Star Killer. That's right. Well, Star Killer is not canon. Matt is such a. It's my canon. Sh- well, not in a real canon. She had a nice. She had a nice outfit on there. He did. How dare you say that? <laughs> Disgusting male. Yo, no. down the Sarlacc pit. No, she's well. I mean, nobody. If you, if, oh, if the, if I forgot Sarlacc she got the pit, Emperor death. If the Sarlacc pit is your 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 moniker, I mean, everyone survives the Sarlacc pit. So I'm here was this is what down I, there and put the face thing on. You know, this is where I'm going to give credit because this is very much a Disney thing. Falls into a Sarlacc pit, releases the energy. She's in a cloning tank somewhere else and just did an essence transfer. And then in Dr. Afra, they're going to be like, somehow, so now, Shakti returned. Now let's pull up the article. Let's pull up the article that Matt so graciously shared and ruined our days with. Um, yeah, that talks, that talks about her, these two being alive. Bro, you sent me nothing but pizza ads. Like, what is all of this? <laughs> it's all an ad blocker, Christ. you fuck. That's your fault. Oh, my God. It's not my problem that you have. Uh, if you have an ad blocker, does it get rid of all this stuff? Seriously? You? What are they called? All right, shut up. <laughs> Good Lord. Star Wars wow. has revealed that two Jedi Masters were very much thought to be dead. Of course they were thought to be dead. Actually survived Order 66 and have been hiding out in secret. The Star yeah. Wars prequel trilogy and its Clone Wars spinoff introduced us to clone, oh, I'm sorry, to clone, to Jedi Council member Shakti and Jedi Master General Ayla Secura, two of the most heroic warriors and or leaders of the Jedi Order in its final days. By the time Order 66 was put into motion during Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, we saw both Shock and Ayla die in the tragic fall of the Jedi. Or so we thought. Dun, dun. Dun. No, don't do that. You have to do the Disney. No. <laughs> and there they are in full form. Good I love how Shakti's still in fucking perfect Jedi robes. And Ayla's in the outfit she died in. Well, we don't know what they look like. She they has accurate leg more than a yeah. They gave us our last, you know, picture of them. All right, is, this not the, is this not the panel from the comic? I don't know. I haven't seen the. It is now. because they describe it later that they were in the ground and they look it's, up and Ayla Secura and Shock T are there. Because that's what when okay, so when Matt sent this us to like when he sent this to us, I thought at first maybe it was like a Force Vision or like a freaking hologram or some shit. Nope. That's why I wanted to pull up the comic for reference, but I don't know. Comics. I don't think the comics actually out yet. So I mean, this is like the first panel. No but fucking again, yeah. surprise, Steve. Way ahead of you, bro. Fucking shill. Like, of course, you're going to like anything Disney freaking jerks off on a silver platter to you. But my, but my remember, point- the, the, the whole premise on this comic is somehow Dr. Afra takes Luke as a prisoner. And this, comic, <laughs> this comic is set between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. So, stop it! Stop it! 
So remember, you know, Dr. Afra, who was hired by Vader. I am so Martin. glad Vader airlocked her stupid bitch ass freaking self. Well, let's yeah, not forget so too, Kira, Kira and Afra took on Vader. Well, somehow Afra Afra managed to cuck Luke. And so now she needs to bring him to this place, you know, to get in for this this relic, right? For this artifact that they have to keep from the Sith. And when they fall down into a fucking well or a, a lake or whatever, they wake up and here's here they are. by the way. Reading. This is the exact outfit she was wearing during Order 66. That shit would be Swiss fucking cheese after what those clones did to her. Unless she just retailored it, she might have. I don't know. That's why I'm like, maybe it's a freaking halt. Whatever. Continue. In Star Wars, Dr. Afra number 32, the titular Dr. Afra, embarks on a new journey with an unwitting ally, Luke Skywalker, whom she's taken hostage for a mission. Because she can. She can take Luke, especially between Empire and Return of the Jedi, she can take Luke hostage. Who couldn't? Well, Vader tasked her to look to look from um, for Luke, right? And one of her freaking things, he tasked yeah. her to look for him. So that was War of the Bounty Hunters, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't read them, but I think that's this. I think that's War of the Bounty Hunters. Afra found Afra found an old hollow message from Shock to Ayla, calling her old friend to Sassan Temple for help guarding an ancient artifact. What the fuck is that? You have to have a list to say that Cthulhu's bell, which could have given the Sith an unimaginable weapon against the universe. The temple can only be opened by pure hearted Jedi, which is why Afro needs Skywalker in order to gain entry. Yeah. Yeah. Luke Skywalker and Afro make their way to Sassan Temple and battle the electromagnetic storm and crystallized guardians blocking entry to the ancient site. The tomb. By the way, that the crystal guardian sounds like Sounds like something right out of Jedi Survivor, right? How many times do you have to beat those motherfuckers? This is the like freaking the motherfuckers. The Zepho. Here they come again. Here they you come talking again. about the Zepho? Yeah. So here's a confirmation. The tomb raiding mission ends with Luke and Afra falling down into a pool within Sassan Temple, only to find Shakti and Ayla Secura standing over them with lightsabers drawn. Yeah. And that's it. How are Shakti and Ayla Secura still alive? Let's see. Oh, don't ahead. be uh don't be a bigot first off please oh, i'm a woman wow. i can hate them all i want wow as stated shakti and ayla secura got their own fair share of the spotlight during the fall the spotlight that's what they're calling it the spotlight <laughs> during the fall of the jedi era in the star wars franchise to that point we actually saw we actually saw both jedi masters fall on screen making this resurrection even harder to swallow Okay, continue. Whoever wrote this is clearly good at it. Ayla Secura is the Jedi seen on the jungle planet during Revenge of the Sith. They couldn't even fucking name it. Uh, ah! We see her clone troopers turn on her and shoot her down. Although her actual corpse is hidden by the leaves of foliage in the jungle. Da, da, da. Shakti's <laughs> death was less official in Star Wars canon, but way more numerous. Revenge of the Sith deleted scenes actually had two different death scenes or death scenarios for the Jedi Council member, one on the lightsaber blade of General Grievous and the other on Anakin Darth Vader's blade as he cuts her down in mid-meditation during attack on the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. Clone Wars went further, revealing an early vision T had of her own death, battling Vader. Obviously, wasn't it Yoda? I don't care anymore. Anyways, um, obviously, there's now room for Star Wars to retcon Shock T's death. The Jedi Council... Okay, hold on. Can it... Oh, hold on. Can we just back up <laughs> for a second really quick? <laughs> obviously, really there's, the rest of it. I mean. obviously, there's now room for Star Wars to retcon Shock T's death. How fucking weird is it that if they just want to tell a new story, they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. We'll recon the shit. Let's tell a new one. Fuck it. Yes. No, one, no one's ever really gone. That is a line that fucking ruined everything everything and because they're so creatively bankrupt they can't come up with new stories so they got to keep reviving dead people this is what not nah, dog what... like no nah, straight really up alive, alive. straight really up alive, alive and breathing yeah. i'm waiting to see if the comic comes out and they spin it somehow but what baffles me is like they don't realize they're taking away importance it they wasn't barely, like hey let's find out blood. if maybe she survived no they can't show somebody i mean they did 
as close that as they could get. That movie was dark but, enough already. That's why. Bro, he drew the line at like mostly gangland assassination. He uh, couldn't go like full uh, on gangland assassination. Dude, I don't uh, know what the fuck else you need yeah, to know that Ayo Secure is dead. Plo Koon is next. Plo Koon is next. Plo Koon, oh, we know. We know Floney has a hard on for Plo Koon. He loves Plo Koon and so do I, but I bet you anything what's going to happen is that his head got blown off and it was in perfect condition and they just gave him a new body Mom no they were up. like they were like you know uh, okay who could have survived order 66 they're like well plu coon like theoretically could have made it mace windu could have made it and they're like yeah they're males though and they're like oh well we should probably bring girls back like who can mace we bring is back? gonna happen mace is gonna happen and one one mace way or another is, after this shit a, now i don't want mace there, back because now it's too much there is a zero percent chance that we get mace windu what Jimmy said? Oh my gosh! Zero percent. That's is... that's the point I was trying to make. Like it's fucking ridiculous. They can do whatever. They're, they're like two girl Jedi's. Like sure, we saw one get absolutely massacred. But she was why never not? Confirmed dead. What do you mean? I mean, if Palpatine wasn't dead, all bets are off. Let's be real. If Palpatine wasn't somehow, dead, somehow. These they don't realize that this takes away the mystery of the Star Wars universe. Killing all these Jedi. Granted, no one is believing that 10,000 Jedi were massacred that same day. Like, obviously not. But the main ones that we were shown to be dead were shown to us for a reason. Okay, so this is like, this is the fucking problem with Disney, okay? This is the problem with the modern many. Star Wars. Not Disney. This is the problem with modern Star Wars. Like, actually, Disney in general, they refuse to tell a new fucking story. Instead of being like, I was working on a consular on an outer rim planet when Order 66 occurred. Were there clones? Yes, but there weren't many. It was a small contingency of clones that were maintaining security on the planet. They tried to kill me and I fucked them up. And then when I was on my way back to Coruscant, I got a hollow from Obi-Wan that said, do not go back. And so I left and I went to hiding. Guess what? I don't have a single fucking problem with that. That's a that is a totally viable story for a Jedi that survived Order sixty six, and they're not going to be a fucking war hero like Ayla Sakura or or fucking Shock T. They're not going to be a member of the Council. Like this is just a Jedi that was working on an outer rim planet on a on a remote assignment. Totally makes sense. But when you have a fucking Jedi that was shot. 29 fucking times by a dc and murdered in cold fucking blood and then they're just like well there was a leaf so we're not a thousand percent sure does this stupid ass article say anything else no this no is it. no it says fucking nothing and i'm just i'm so tired of this shit bro hey close your screen you're sharing your your tms oh god oh god oh god <laughs> Listen, these two Jedi, they're still alive. You know, we had a, we had a fair amount that survived Order 66. That's nice. It's nice. It's really lots, annoying. Lots of stories we can tell. It just, what bothers me about it is they keep reviving dead characters. Like, does, does freaking death, death means nothing. Death means nothing. Even in the MCU. No, I can't wait for Vader to come back. They're like, well, we didn't technically see his body burn all the way to the ground. <laughs> and <laughs> no. so... Vader's not coming back. Yeah, That's neither was Ayla. Well, I mean... You survived, Ayla. anyone can survive. That is a, the I truth. I am so done with this switcher. And what, every... what is going on? What switcher? He has a problem with it. Okay, stuff. so the way this thing works is you have a mirrorless camera that plugs into a switcher. The switcher then plugs into the computer. The switcher is there because it interprets an HDMI signal into a USB signal. That's the whole point. When it's being a bitch like this, it's like, I'm here. I'm ready to work. And then it's like, nah, fuck it. I don't feel like it. And then it just turns off. And the problem is it turns right back on. But it's like, since we quit the signal, I'm not just going to like put it back up for you. Well, it sounds like you have cheap equipment. Can you change that stupid ass picture already, too? By like, the way, it's like literally one of the most expensive switches out there. <laughs> Maybe it's just Streamyard screwing with you. It's not. It's not Streamyard. Do you remember when this used to happen with? Uh... Oh shit! I bet I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. Hold Ooh, up. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. I know exactly what it is. 
Who do you think is going to be next to survive aside from Plo Koon? I don't remember where the fuck Goodness I sakes. How many more could we do? Because I, I can we, understand. We, this is why I didn't mind Cal, right? And Jedi. Well, the, the easiest answer to this question has got to be Barris Offy. Offy, right? Oh, Barris Offy is coming back in some way. That dumb bitch. Especially yeah. with Ahsoka. So for me, that's like the easy win. Yeah, but you know what they're going to do? They're going to make her a victim. They're not going to make her a villain. Which oh, she should be a villain. Of course she's a victim. 100%. She's got a different bitch. skin color. She chose to betray Ahsoka. Fuck her. Fuck her. Hard. Oh, well, they're going to reconcile. They're going to reconcile. She's going to be a victim, an Inquisitor victim, just like Trilla. Only Trilla can do it best. I like Trilla. She's awesome. But my point is that that's the reason I didn't mind Cal, because he wasn't a known person, and he was legit trying to hide and be a normal person at the beginning of Fallen Order. Just like Kanan. That's why I liked Kanan, because in A New Dawn, you see his life just trying to hide and blend in and hop planet to planet. Like, I can believe there's stray Jedi that survived and just blended in. But straight up Jedi that worked for the Order... For the Republic, we're on the council. We saw them shot dead. No, yeah. not shot dead, just shot. Not, <laughs> dead. not dead. Not dead. Not dead. It's it's so ridiculous, dude. It's you know sad. what? You know what the problem was? The reason she survived, she didn't have any stomachs. <laughs> Turns out pilots don't even have stomachs. What about her chest? She got shot right in the chest. They have extremely buoyant breasts, and they just bounced off. Okay. Whenever she got shot right in front of her nine hearts, it just bounced her off. Were, her breasts people. were very nice, by the way. They were very nice. They were. Ayla Sakura was the hottest Jedi, yes. for sure. Uh, I had questionable feelings as a young teenager when I saw Ayla Sakura. I'm, I'm like, well, either. it's blue, but do I care? I don't <laughs> Like Annika said, if it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean... Oh. I'm just I you know the the big pervasive issue is that they just like if they decide to dredge it up they can't figure out how to fucking do it right and instead of dredging it up they they refuse to do their own stories uh, well actually I take that back they do the high republic which was fucking ass <laughs> so what do we do what do you do Go into the future. Why are they so scared? It's because they know they can't do anything original worth a damn. I but I mean, wait. even then, the High Republic doesn't really it like reference the anything. It goes into the past and it has Yoda. Fuck them. All right. So it has Yoda, but it really doesn't like at least the stuff that I read, which God rest my soul. I'm never getting that time back. It like it really does not reference like much from the existing. I mean, like Coruscant and stuff like that, but. For the most part, it's basically self-contained. And even then, it fucking blows. So what changes if it goes into the future? Make their own stupid-ass characters. That's it. Like, And have, even then, wouldn't we be universe. pissed off if we went all the way into the future and, like, the Skywalkers were never mentioned? Like, this massive No, we wouldn't story. be pissed off because the Skywalkers aren't a freaking immortal bloodline. Like, this isn't some freaking King George shit. That's what I want, though. Why? We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. You know, Ray's gonna be there. You know, well, anyone can just have the Skywalker name. That's not the Skywalker bloodline. That's in a fucking canon, imposter. In canon, the only surviving Skywalker offspring, Ben, killed was killed. So I don't want to buy this bullshit. No, no, she, 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 no, no one's ever she really is gone. Ray Skywalker. No, she's not. She doesn't have the blood. You don't think? You really don't think that Ben's gonna come back? In the fucking Ray movie, you really think they're not gonna have babies, and that's the next Skywalker? You really fucking think Disney's like, no, we killed him. That's it. That makes me want to pee. <laughs> that makes me want to pee. I'm doing it right now. I don't even care. That's... I don't think. I don't think Ben is coming back. I identify as a Skywalker. That's what Ray did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kit Fisto actually survived being struck by the Emperor. It's just like, I hear I hear Kit Fisto and Shot T. My mind goes somewhere else, but that's just me. You need to change your undertitle to "My equipment is fixed." So, well, it yeah, just got fixed. I, I so. probably should. You know what it was? I was blaming the freaking switcher. It was the damn USB port on my computer, not the switcher. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. fading in and out. Damn thing. Dang um dang. Don't worry, it's gonna cut out like right in the middle of one of my sentences. No, it won't. Ugh. Oh, no, wait, you, no. Shut X Wing's mic off. That's not how you spell mic, by the way, in shorthand. It's M I C. Oh, I mean, disgusting. This is Mike's, sacrilege. Mike Skywalker. It's Mike Skywalker. 
King's Advisors for five says Matt said Ray Skywalker. So play my body, please. please you have don't. to. All right, I'm going to give you a shot here. King's Advisors, you have to put something more quitty in here for my body, my choice. That's a special thing. That's like the crouton in the salad. You don't just get that every bite. Just for throwing five bucks in there. You got to come up with a funny my body, my choice thing, and then we'll play it. I'm going to give yeah. you a chance. going to give horrible. you a chance. Did you see that there was an update for... Uh, the uh kotor game on and a salad and you freaking cracker <laughs> you call can cracker? you please refrain from <laughs> racial slurs in my fucking wow, live stream you him a cracker. a crouton and a salad <laughs> I I couldn't think of anything else right off I don't even fucking like croutons. I couldn't think I of love like something croutons else. Croutons is just like the crusty bread that cut them up. It's fresh. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's but day old bread and then they bake it they and they put it in the salad. I don't like maybe. croutons. I can't remember. I couldn't think of oh, something else. Like, what's a good one? What's a good one? I don't even fucking know, but definitely not something you would hear at Cracker Barrel. I'm Eastern European. I'm like, you don't get to do the kielbasa and the pierogies, you know? You can't just pick a... Like, it's tough. Whatever. Uh, Give me a good crouton. That's right. He isn't. He hasn't. No spinach. Salad. Brian, Brian, no spinach is not a real salad. Spinach is fucking incredible. Not a real fucking salad. We're not going back You know what? It. Just for that and my lovely iron-rich diet... I'm going to tell you right now, Iceberg beats spinach, and I'm going to put in my body what I want because oh, no. it is. It brings up a good point here. We did right. get the poll. You just never put the results up. We did? Did I put the poll yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. I was I was in a different dimension that night. Yes. Not right. I, 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 certainly, I, certainly, I certainly wasn't, so I don't know. Well, that's a first. <laughs> <I was>. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What was the result? I don't know. You never uh, put it up. See, my, my stance was I don't mind spinach, just not in the salad because it feels not, like I, I feel like a cow trying not to chew that salad. shit. I need That's to good. fucking know. I need to know. That's We're good. gonna start a poll right now. God, which is better? Poll. Why don't you fuck off? Okay. We're all having a good night together. Don't rain on our parade. All right. Sorry. No, you're not. Well, are we golden raining again or what? I'm never oh. sorry. Uh open forum while I create this poll here. Anything you want to talk about? Uh <laughs> salute. Gross. That was gross. Salud. Oh, Matt, so give your, your quick Spider-Verse review. Oh, my goodness. The Spider-Verse. Um, so, so again, it, it, it seemed like you're watching, you know, the comic book on the big screen. Like the first one. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, the story progressed and there were so many Spider-Men. You know, not the one that X-Wing thought was there, but all the rest of them were there. Okay, yes. it was like a fucking four-year difference between the two characters, okay? So many Spider-Man, and then so you're like, okay, we're I'm watching, I'm into it, and then it gets it it keeps going, and then all of a sudden something happens, and then the credits come on. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, and a lot of people were pissed at that, but isn't it like a two-parter that movie? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of what Dune did. Dune kind of ended very like uh, abruptly, if I remember correctly. I'm like, really? I'm like, I'm like, I could have, you know, it was two hours and twenty minutes. I was like, I could have watched more of this. That's why I didn't see the whole damn thing. It was so long. I woke up at six. Well, I mean, TikTok only gives you so much. No, I, mean, I woke up at six. I like my wife. Like we kiss each other. She goes off to work. I open up TikTok because I can't sleep and. I only got to watch an hour and a half of it because I was off to work at 7:30. And I was like, God, this movie's fucking long. Like, and I thought I thought maybe I had come in at the very beginning. It turns out maybe not. Wait, so you were being serious? You actually saw the movie on TikTok? I just I just thought you meant that like a bunch of people were like posting clips and No, no, like I roll over and they have like TikTok live. And this dude had a TikTok live, and that's almost how I watched Super Mario Bros. But the one I saw was in Spanish, and so I wasn't keeping up. But 
Uh, no, it was the the whole movie, and it was half of the iPhone screen. So you know, you got. I have one of the fucking bigger ones. You know, it was like I pretty. Feel like that, that is such a shitty way to watch a movie because it'll ruin the experience, for you. especially for something like Spider Verse, where it relies heavily on the visuals. Like you can't do that. What's yeah, it doesn't doesn't fucking bother me at all. Because you're retarded. No. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> So I, I highly you recommend. Don't take slander here next week, okay? No, I, I highly recommend the movie. And just again, you know, it's like, I, it, it, I feel like it's a movie you need to see um, twice because there was a lot so going on. Coming, there was so much coming at you, and I'm like, I'm like, I don't, you don't, you're like, I don't know where to look. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's. But again, the, the whole comic booky again, you know, Sony killed it once more on, you know, animating and presenting it on the big screen. Absolutely phenomenal. phenomenal. It was so like from a visual standpoint, the amount of color and shit they were able to work into that. I really like the first one. Phenomenal. Yeah. If, I mean, you like the, if you like the first one. The second one will absolutely amaze you. It is it is worlds more like complex than the first one. It's Not it's really this, crazy. But Star Wars dog, he gave five memberships. Okay, yeah. you know what? We have a fucking process here. No, you okay. don't, because you don't see those. No, Whoa. I saw it because Whoa. I blow up my Me. I blow up my YouTube. Channel, I remind you, and I saw it Whoa. way the fuck before you did. By I'm the not gonna way. fucking help you anymore. Good. Don't. You know what? Fuck it. Go away. You call me. Vete pa carajo. It's not like the memberships mean anything. But what good, do I have to work good, at? What? Good, I go to hell. <laughs> good, I good, you said good, good. Star Wars dog. Thank you for giving gifting those five meaningless memberships. Oh my god. Matt is on one. <laughs> X-Wing, you need to schedule a member stream soon. You know what? We're it getting it. It's going to come on a week. Oh, Will you week. fucking listen to me week. when I said it's Sunday, you fucking assholes? Why do I bring you guys on? Este you are nothing, you are, Which you are Sunday? nothing but este fucking rude Wait, this to Sunday? me. You do this nothing Sunday? but put my fucking channel down. You Callate do la boca. nothing but fucking shit which all Sunday? over. You never said it. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Leave. This Sunday? A Which day, a day away? A day away? Stop it! He said day away? Sunday, Sunday said. is day... Wait, hold on. What time is it? Yeah, Which that's Sunday? day after tomorrow. Okay, so this Sunday, oh, like members this only Sunday. stream. Really? Everybody hold this motherfucker accountable. You hear me? What well, time it's not, it's what not time just a members Sunday? only stream. It's the giveaway stream. Shout out to Special Ray in the chat. Well, it Special should be Ray. a member stream. I mean, you haven't done a member stream. I should probably stay quiet right now. <laughs> it's not a so good you're idea. Giving, you're that. giving away something to other than members? What are you doing? It's a surprise, right? Next week. Okay, sure. Doesn't matter to be a member. Just come for the giveaway. I Special Ray. Special Ray has the best profile picture. I know. Special Ray is awesome. That profile picture is just always worth a, a shout out. Please, X-Wing, highlight that message. It's so amazing. No member stream. I'm sorry, guys. No member stream on Sunday. Just a giveaway stream. He's member mad stream. at us now. What did we do? Members don't what? matter. Also, Special Ray, what movie is that from? Is that from Force Awakens? I think that's from Force Awakens. He's going to randomly end the stream with his weird outro. I'm scared now. I don't know what's going on. Brian W. put in a member chat. You're confusing the chat. So glad I haven't. What do you say? Brian W, so glad I haven't actually paid for one of these. <laughs> Great stuff. Always brother. Yeah. Yeah. Just go on Sunday, though. He's Give calling you away. brother. You're going to stay quiet. Giveaway stream. Giveaway stream. It's not a member stream. It's giving away things for anyone. You know what, Matt? Let's just stay quiet until he decides to talk. Stop talking. You're not talking. Chris is coming. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what did Chris say? And mommy, daddy, and other daddy are fighting. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Listen, X Wing, we're holding you accountable just like any good friend would. Yeah. That's it. None of our stream. If we didn't support you, we wouldn't be on here right now. So shut up. I've still got the, the George Stormtrooper for whatever 
stream. Matt, can I say I love your tattoo here? It is fucking awesome. Oh well, my I got uh, my check this shit out, guys. My, my tie fighters. No one can ever call him a fake fan. That shit's dope. Yeah, thank you. That's Everyone cool. always notices the tie fighters before they notice the fucking the fucking huge and cog. Cool. But yeah, you're scaring our children. <laughs> Oh, they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. It's okay. Come Sunday, you know. Okay, members. I'm just crying. Members. Way to skip my chat. chat. What chat are you talking about, you cry baby? Oh, his super chat. You skipped a super chat and he's crying. Oh, Danya. Well, then stop giving the fucking money. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Oh, my God. Dollar ninety nine, dude. It wasn't exactly like a... I mean, it's not like... Boom, boom roasted. Ray can choose her name because it's her choice. He's trying to trick you into playing that clip. All right, next week. So tell it to be true. Are you excited for Andor season two? Well, shit, that shit rhyme, boy. Shit. I'm a rapper. Uh, look, if I had to give my honest opinion, I would say, like, dude, just believe. My time has come. You must continue your journey without me. What, 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 what are you, what? Master! You can't leave me! You must believe. Master! Just really quick before we go. Oh, he left. Spinach came out 52 over 48. So, uh, fuck your life. <laughs>